हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मेडिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर सुमन जैन टुडे इन द सीरीज ऑफ लिपिड मेटाबॉलिज्म वी आर गोइंग टुडे विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज कोलेस्ट्रॉल मेटाबॉलिज्म इन द कोलेस्ट्रॉल मेटाबॉलिज्म द फर्स्ट वी सी अबाउट द बायोसिंथेसिस ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल सो टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ बायो कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज सिंथेसाइज इन अवर बॉडी सो वॉट इज कोलेस्ट्रॉल यू सी it was the first it was first of all isolated from human gall stones chevalerol as a white waxy substance and gave the name cholesterol which was later identified as cholesterol cholesterol is a greek word which kole means bile steros means solid and ol is for alcohol the structure of this is the cholesterol structure which has 27 carbons one oh one double bond and many methyl groups and a side chain then we come to the structure of cholesterol the same i showed you that it has 27 carbons uh, you can see and molecular weight is 386 it has eight carbon aliphatic chain from six carbon 17 one oh group one double bond one oh group at third carbon one double bond between five and six carbon and one two three four and five methyl groups and from carbon 17 there is a side chain then we come to the uh, cholesterol appearance appearance it is yellow in color and with white crystalline solid when it is examined in microscope it it shows a rhombic shape with plated plates rhombic plates with notched appearance it is insoluble in water and soluble in chloroform it is tasteless odorless substance its melting point is 149 to 150 then occurrence it is exclusively present in animal tissue plant cells and prokaryotes don't have it is important and abundant steroid and also many steroids are synthesized from this cholesterol in a 70 kg man a total of 140 g of cholesterol is present and 2 g present that is 2 g per body weight now the sources the sources of Uh, cholesterol are exogenous sources also and endogenous sources exogenous is what we take in diet that is obtained from food and animal origin and endogenous origin it is the synthesis of cholesterol in our body so we with this synthesis now site of cholesterol biosynthesis the cholesterol is synthesized almost in all tissues and cells in human but liver is the most where 50% of total cholesterol is synthesized and intestine 15% are the major sites of cholesterol synthesis the other organs like adrenal cortex brain placenta skin gonads they also contribute to the synthesis of cholesterol all the the cholesterol concentration vary from 0.1 to 10 g per 100 g tissue weight in different body weight tissues brain of newborn can synthesize cholesterol but the adult do not synthesize now the steps of the synthesis the synthesis of cholesterol occurs in cytosolic and microsomal fractions of cell the enzymes which are involved in the biosynthesis are present in smooth endoplasmic reticulum and cytosome acetyl coenzyme a is the active acetate that is the main precursor for the cholesterol synthesis cholesterol is 27 carbon and acetyl a coenzyme a is 2 carbon so from 2 carbon 27 carbon are synthesized reducing equivalents used here in the synthesis are nadph which comes from hmp shunt atp is the main source of energy and for production of one mole of cholesterol 18 moles of acetyl coenzyme a are needed 36 moles of atp and 16 moles of nadph are required now the steps the biosynthesis of cholesterol is a complex process it includes six main steps 
the first step is the synthesis of hmg coenzyme a so in the first step acetyl coenzyme a is converted into hmg coenzyme a the second step is synthesis of mevalonate so hmg coenzyme a is converted into mevalonate that is the second step then the third step is the formation of isoprene isoprenoid unit so from mevalonate isoprene units are synthesized these isoprene units they combine to form 30 carbon squalene that is the fourth step and then this squalene cyclization this squalene is a straight chain now it converts it into cycle form and which is known as lenosterol that is from 30 carbon squalene to 30 carbon lenosterol but it is in cyclized position then we come to the next is lenosterol is then converted into cholesterol by certain modifications and this 20, 30 carbon lenosterol is 30 carbon whereas cholesterol is 27 carbon so now step by step we go the first step that is synthesis of 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl coenzyme a that is hmg coenzyme a this is the same step which we see in the ketone body synthesis so two acetyl molecule condense to form acetoacetyl coenzyme a this acetoacetyl again takes one more acetyl coenzyme a and gets converted into beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl coenzyme a that is hmg coenzyme a this hmg coenzyme a is synthesized in these two steps takes place in the first step it is because uh, by the uh, catalysis of thio uh, thiolase enzyme and the second step is because of the thio uh, hmg coenzyme a synthase enzyme now this hmg coenzyme a synthase occurs in cytosol and it also occurs in mitochondria but the cytosol one a is participate in the synthesis of cholesterol whereas the hmg coenzyme a synthase which is present in mitochondria it helps in the synthesis of ketone bodies so the steps are same but only the cytosolic and micro uh, and mitochondrial is the difference See, this is the rate limiting step this is the rate limiting enzyme uh, hmg coenzyme a reductase it is very important enzyme because this one enzyme regulates the synthesis of um, cholesterol then the formation third step is the formation of isoprenoid unit so mevalonate is converted into 3 phospho 5 pyrophospho mevalonate this takes place th in three steps but these three steps are regulated by three kinases the first kinase is mevalonate kinase second is phospho me mevalonate kinase and the third is kinase so these three steps, three steps which are uh, regulated by uh, kinase enzyme. So we see the steps. The first, the mevalonate is converted into mevalonate 5-phosphate in presence of mevalonate kinase enzyme. This mevalonate 5-phosphate is converted to mevalonate 5-pyrophosphate in presence of phosphomevalonate kinase then this mevalonate 5 pyrophosphate is converted into mevalonate 3 phospho 5 pyrophosphate in presence of enzyme kinase this mevalonate 5 3 phospho 5 pyrophosphate is converted into isopentenoyl pyrophosphate which is an active isoprenoid unit this is now 5 carbon and this on isomerization is converted into 3 3 dash dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate so this is dpp and this is ipp so this uh, dpp and ipp are synthesized uh, by we have seen the steps that is by in presence of decarboxylase enzyme mevalonate 3 phospho 5 pyrophosphate is converted into ipp by removing one co2 whereas this ipp is isomerized to form dpp in presence of enzyme is isomerase its complete name is isopentenyl pyrophosphate isomerase now the step 4 that is now till now we have seen that synthesis of 
mevalonate and mevalonate first we have seen the synthesis of hmg coenzyme a then we have seen the uh, synthesis of um, uh, mevalonate and then we have seen this mevalonate is converted into two uh, isoprene uni unit that is ipp and dpp now these two units now we will see the synthesis of 30 carbon squalene how it is formed so the ipp and dpp this both they condense to form geranyl pyrophosphate that is gpp and these enzymes in presence of enzyme cis prenyl transferase now the another molecule of ipp again adds to this condensed part compound with gpp to form 15 carbon farnesyl pyrophosphate this 15 carbon farnesyl pyrophosphate in presence of enzyme cis prenyl transferase the same enzyme it is and now farnesyl pyrophosphate the two units of this 15 15 carbon two units of farnesyl pyrophosphate that is fpp they unite to form 30 carbon aliphatic squalene in presence of nadph and enzyme is squalene synthase which requires magnesium ion magnesium ion cobalt ion as factor and this step is taking place in endoplasmic reticulum so these complete procedures are going on in endoplasmic reticulum before that till mevalonate it was in cytosol now we see the steps so dpp is isomerized to form ipp this both now condense to form geranyl pyrophosphate that is gpp this gpp now takes one more ipp that is isopentenyl pyrophosphate and gets converted into farnesyl pyrophosphate which is 15 carbon so this is 5 carbon this is 5 carbon they come condense to form 10 carbon gpp this 10 carbon gpp is then converted into it takes one more ipp that is 5 carbon and gets converted into fpp that is farnesyl pyrophosphate now the two molecules of this farnesyl pyrophosphate combine to form 30 carbon squalene which is aliphatic now the step 5 cyclization of squalene to lenosterol so 30 carbon aliphatic squalene is now undergo cyclization and hydroxylization to form cyclic lenosterol so in presence of squalene monooxygenase enzyme so squalene in presence of molecular oxygen gets converted into squalene 2 3 epoxide and which is which in presence of cyclase enzyme is converted into cyclization or cyclic compound that is known as lenosterol in presence of nadph now conversion of last step that is conversion of lenosterol that is 30 carbon to cholesterol 27 carbon so here you can see the decarboxylation also takes place now this step forming cholesterol from lenosterol is multi-step process it requires 19 enzymatic reaction this occurs in endoplasmic reticulum so the compounds in intermediate forms are zymosterol then desmosterol then 7 dehydrocholesterol and finally cholesterol these are the sum of the intermediates we have seen so lenosterol the first 7 dehydrocholesterol is formed from penultimate product which on reduction forms cholesterol so before the cholesterol it is 7 dehydrocholesterol and it uh, cholesterol is produced from lenosterol by these four things the first it happens is the reduction of carbon atoms from 30 to 27 so the in square lenosterol there are 30 carbon now in cholesterol it is 27 only so three carbon atoms are removed and removal of three angular methyl groups that is three carbon groups are removed the angular methyl group is removed and shift of double bond from carbon 8 to carbon 5 so in lenosterol the double bond is between 8 carbon 8 and 9 so now it will shift to 5 and 6 carbon then the saturation of double bond in side chain the double bond is saturated 
with other hydrogen and in this way cholesterol 27 carbon cholesterol is synthesized from lanosterol by intermediate products are zymosterol desmosterol and 7 dehydrocholesterol and cholesterol now all the steps we can combine now here all the step the first step is synthesis of hmg coenzyme a the two molecules of acetyl coenzyme a condense to form acetoacetyl and then ultimately hmg coenzyme a in presence of enzyme thiolase and hmg coenzyme a synthase this hmg coenzyme a is then converted into mevalonate which is six carbon compound in presence of hmg coenzyme a reductase this is the rate limiting step of cholesterol synthesis then we come to this mevalonate in pre is converted in presence of three kinase enzyme mevalonate kinase phosphomevalonate kinase and kinase it get converted into mevalonate 3 phospho 5 pyrophosphate which on decarboxylation and isomerization with the decarboxylation it forms ipp and with isomerization it forms dpp so ipp and dpp are now formed ipp is isopentenyl pyrophosphate dpp is dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate these two condense to form gpp that is zirenyl pyrophosphate the zirenyl pyrophosphate now takes one more ipp to form far farnesyl pyrophosphate that is 15 carbon compound now the two molecules of farnesyl pyrophosphate combine to form 13 carbon squalene this 13 carbon squalene in presence of molecular oxygen and squalene monooxygenase enzyme gets converted into squalene 2 3 epoxide and finally into lenosterol this lenosterol is a cyclic compound and squalene is the straight chain aliphatic chain now this lenosterol is converted into zymosterol desmosterol 7 dehydrocholesterol and get then finally into cholesterol in this way cholesterol is synthesized then now the regulation so hmg coenzyme a reductase is the rate limiting enzyme and it is regulated by this seven procedures steps first is feedback inhibition second is inhibition of cholesterol synthesis by cholesterol derived from lipoprotein then for hormonal regulation then inhibition of cholesterol synthesis by bile acids then modulation of cholesterol synthesis by dietary fibers or dietary fats and then fasting and starvation condition and the finally inhibition by drugs these all inhibition in detail if you want to see then you can see the next video which is on on the regulation of cholesterol synthesis thank you very much if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you very much